In this video we're going to be taking a look at the CSS library file and in the end we'll have a better understanding on when to use base, layout, component, state and the theme categorizations in our library CML file. Drupal 8 follows the SMAC CSS style categorization and SMAC CSS stands for scalable and modular architecture for CSS. That simply means that it forces us to write scalable and modular CSS. So the categorization that exists in Drupal 8 consists of the category base, layout, component, state and team. And we're going to try to visualize it as easy as possible. So here we have a Drupal instance and let's go ahead and disable the CSS aggregation first. There we go. And as we see on the front end, we have our custom team. And in the code base, we would see that we have a team called Drupal Up. And we already have the Drupal Up info YAML. And we have some CSS files that would easily illustrate the different categories and where they appear on the page. So let's go ahead and create a new file and call it the name of our team.libraries.yml and here we're going to be declaring a new library and we're going to call it styling experiment and we're going to have CSS assets here. In order to show the styling experiment library on every page, we're going to include it in our info.yml file. So let's say libraries and here we say the name of our team and the library that we just declared. Perfect. So here let's go ahead and start with the first category that we want to check and this is the base and as we see here in the CSS folder we have a file called base CSS so this way we include the base CSS file and the base rules consist of styling for HTML elements only base rules should never include class selectors and base styles should reflect the simplest possible appearance of each element. A good example of base rules are the CSS reset files or the normalized CSS files. So if we save this and if we jump to our Drupal instance and clear the cache And if we view the page source, we see that our base CSS appears quite at the top of the list of the CSS files, so relatively at the top. So let's check the next one. We're going to be checking the layout. And we're going to be including the CSS layout.css file. And the CSS assets that are categorized under the layout are usually responsible for the arrangement of the elements on the page. And a very good example of that is the grid system. So if we just save it and if we clear the cache one more time and if we view the page source we see that the layout CSS appears after the base CSS so in a way also the weight of the order of the CSS files is influenced by the category as you see 
let's go ahead and have a look at the component category and we have a file called component CSS and if we include it we should be placing reusable discrete UI elements in it so a very good example of that is an accordion element if we want to put the styling for the accordion element we should be categorizing that CSS file as component so if we save it and if we go ahead and clear the cache one more time we would see that the component actually appears quite after the base and the layout categories so let's go ahead and take a look at the state as you could imagine from the name the state CSS category should deal with the transient changes to the components appearance changes after the user interacts with the page so you should be putting here pseudo classes such as hover checked or active element in main navigation also styles that alter the appearance based on the immediate browser environment So basically here you should be putting different states that change usually after the user interacts with the website. That was easy and the last one is the most common one, it's theme. And of course for the theme category you should be grouping the CSS files that are responsible for pure visual styling so most of your web page specific styling will go here and you would go for border box shadow colors backgrounds everything that is specific and that is not part of a component or layout or base or state category CSS files that we just described and if we just go ahead and clear the cache one more time we would see that basically as we already saw the base and the layout categories appear first at the very top then we see the component then we see the state and the theme the pure visual CSS files are loaded at the end so as you see generally these categories are mostly responsible for the weight and the order of the way the CSS files are being rendered but it also forces you to think about how could you divide the CSS styles into more modular and more reusable files so that you could kind of be reusing them in different projects and so that it's also more ordered and faster for newer developers to start working with your project so thanks for watching if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon as you're subscribing don't hesitate to ask any questions if you have and thanks for watching